Hello, and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying... I always do this, don't I? Um, we're trying Entity. Uh, Entity. Researchers. Prologue. Um, so, first of all, I want to do, uh, just to let you know, if you have any photosensitivity photosens issues, then you might not want to watch this. There was a, uh, basically a... a, a warning at the beginning but I, I couldn't catch it in the recording secondly this is a prologue meaning it's a demo meaning it's also probably an alpha and there's going to be walls and stuff that i'm going to bump into probably so keep that in mind um this looked like a game that was like straight up my alley and uh if there's call for it i might consider uh, picking it up and and having a look at the full game as well as maybe doing a series really depends on how how it looks but this seemed like a really, really interesting game that I was, uh, I was like, yeah, for sure, we're gonna, we gotta try this, we gotta have a look. Big, simple. Um, these are the details we have in file. Condition determines your health. Stamina depletes when you attack. Attack determines damage output. Let's just up that, and then, and then, well, just like go across the board. There we go. We'll we'll let luck take it, uh, take the brunt. Respawn on defeat, standard loot drops. Game over on defeat, increased loot drops. Interesting. I'm gonna do normal. I wouldn't mind trying a hardcore mode depending on how much I like this game. Schlom. I'm Schlom, airy supervisor R rank. I will be monitoring your progress. You are currently on trial until further you, uh, notice. This is our cycle bay, nerve center. From relative safety, our technicians can sit at their terminal. Controlling the Urx unit out in the field. Though, though problems can still occur. First, let's get you comfortable with your Aeronet feed. Let's head to our Aeronet feed now. I'll show you around. I think I missed a message there. Would you like to show? Would you like me to show you around? Sure. This is your research feed at Airy. It is important. Uh, it is our duty to catalog and er eradicate the entities. This is the job list. Select a job from that list now. I have so many options. All of them fire. <laughs> I, I feel the same when I see a spider in my house. So many options and all of them fire. Here you can see your Urx unit. Click hold mouse button or use the arrow keys to move. Um, you will find entities roaming the area. Move to their location to attack. They'll also attack if you're close. Um, do we use the numpad? What, what, like, what are we doing here? Oh, I see. We're we're just watching this tutorial. Items can also be found throughout the area. Move to the location to collect the item. Quickly identify items or entities by hovering over them. Here you can track your current objectives and progress. Your task is researching and eradicating the entities. Explore the location for entities and items. Advance towards the enemies and attack. Uh, once they're all destroyed, you'll be taken back to your Aeronet feed. Alright. So we can- oh, I see we move diagonally as well as orthogonally, maybe. So, um, it's kind of game- so this is a turn-based roguelike. Like, it's it's an actual, tr like, traditional roguelike, if you can believe it. It's been a while since I've got to feature one of these on a Let's Try. So let's go ahead and, uh, check out our fire chip. Found a fire chip. Plus five, plus ten fire affinity. I wish that it stayed up a little bit longer. Um, do I have like an inventory I need to check out? Is it a tab? Hmm, it doesn't seem to be a lot going on on this interface right now. There's lots of meat on the table. When you encounter an entity, you'll be brought here. This is the viewport of your Urx unit. Moves assigned to your Urx can be found here. Moves use stamina, which refills slowly. On the right, you can view your stamina and condition. At the top, you'll find the encounter information. Okay, so no, not a troglike, not a traditional roguelike, uh, including condition remaining research amount. On your turn, you will see the turn timer. Use rest to regain stamina, or you can attempt to flee. You can have up to four moves assigned to your Urx, just like the entities. Uh, moves have different affinities. Use your water move now. Line up your to very much not a traditional roguelike. <laughs> Yo, we're playing golf uh, in an SCP facility right now. Line up your attack by stopping on the 
Wow, I was not expecting like golf mechanics. Try and click the mouse. I'm trying. Like, I feel like you're stopping me actually. It's like, it's not letting me. Click the move button again. Oh, I see. Click on hush. Okay, alright. Boom! Line up your something. If your entity is weak to your attacks, you'll do more damage. This entity is averse to water moves. Your Urx unit also has weaknesses, so be careful. Your Urx seems to be weak to electric entities. Scan the entities to add them to the data. This is so funky. When the scan uh, point is illuminated, hover over the entity, click to scan. All right. Where's, oh, I see the scan button. This is the most camp game I think I've played in like the last year. When your condition runs low, use MIDI to heal to raise your defense and you can use screen. You think you're ready now, kid? Wipe out everything in the area. Good luck. Um, all right, let's 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 do this MIDI and then screen. All right, let's do, we'll do a Yush. Critical, we destroyed the entity. Nice. Our condition is lower. Gain stat points by scanning entities or leveling up. All right, let's increase our stamina. Recover one item. Ten, 11 res added to your database. Slain Gorul. This is a very, like, kind of disturbing game. It really does kind of feel very SCP inspired. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. What is gore? Um, let's try gore. Uh, that didn't seem to do as much. We'll try, we'll do a midi. And a screen, I guess. And then we'll do, oh, it's not our turn, okay. We're taking some nasty damage here. Critical bonus, hit those, hit those little criticals. Um, all right, we're, we're, we're doing well, I think. Biomass, provides a small boost to your, I don't know how to, they didn't really like talk to me about um, my, equipment at all um i don't know if there's a button for looking at our inventory we'll continue fighting these guys we got a critical nice I like the, the it's kind of um it's not luck based you know we'll do a screen just to heal ourselves and we'll, that, that was our move. Okay, so you, the, the countdown is really just to, so you don't have a lot of time to consider. We got it perfect. I'm not sure what that means. Like, does that mean uh, we didn't take any damage? You did great, I'm very impressed. The Urx is a powerful weapon, but it can be vastly improved by equipping items to your loadout. For more item information, click the, oh, okay, so we don't get to equip anything while we're in the field. That's for the between missions. Try unequipping an item now. Double click or hold shift to move the item to your inventory. Um. Uh, clicking the item tab opens your in item inventory. New items can be uploaded to your Urx. Oh, I see these are maybe, I'm not sure what's going on. Double click or hold shift to move an item. Okay, we'll, we'll double click. I guess. Oh, these are our move set. Double graphite. Um, to move an item from your inventory, then upload the item to your loadout. Not really sure what I'm doing right now. Items can be used to improve everything about your Urx, so you should always be searching for more. Find out more in the game help section of the menu. I've, oh, I see, this is, this is our inventory, and then this is our loadout, right. It's a unique item, you'll be extremely useful. Uh, Kilo, 
Where you find entities, you'll find Geno sacks. Burst them and they can drop plenty of rewards. Okay, so now we can add this to a slot. No. Condition plus 50. I'm really not... Equip mods to your Urx unit here. This is a little bit confusing, this interface, I will say. I do have moves. Clicking the move tab opens your move list. Gain new moves by researching and battling entities. Moves also gain XP and level up through use, increasing in stamina cost and strength. Click on move to see more information. This is our water affinity move and it's gotten very little experience, but experience nonetheless. And then this is our database, um, entity database, scan entities, and you'll find them here. All right, so we know about the guru. Scanning or battling an entity will increase your research rate of that entity's affinity. So we should have been scanning them as well as uh, fighting them. So is there really any reason not to just add all of this to our... Just double click to access. Oh, I see. So we don't need, we don't need to add that to our loadout. See, like, I would think that I'd have to add this to, you know, one of our body parts, but it seems that that's not the case. We only equip mods. These are ore, unique item, um, graphite, equi that's equipment. I'm really, uh, I'm a little bit confused by this interface, I will say. All right, let's let's uh, let's do um, another fire. I see those missions change very rapidly. So uh, we have a mission to burst a Geno sack. We're gonna wanna scan this, uh, this dude. We took an attack. I, the scan is not really working out for us. There we go. Scanning. Scanning. So, so you can you can scan multiple times. Okay, scan complete. Drell was added. We managed to. Oh, he got he got his attack off before we hit it back. There's a lot of things going on in this game. A lot of them interesting things. So it is weak to our water attack. This is good. Level up. Um, let's increase our condition, what condition our condition will be in, uh, and then our attack, uh, or maybe not, never mind. So we got some stuff. Is that a Geno sack? It is. Splort. Dark ore. Earth chip. What is this? Found Dinu. I don't know what that means. All right, we're fighting something new. We're gonna have to scan it again. I love the the operation like for making this game was let's make a game where everything is pretty incomprehensible. <laughs> what will we be fighting in this game? Yes. Just just you know stuff. You're gonna be fighting stuff. Um, don't dislike it at all. It's got almost like an earthbound feeling to it. Hit it critical. I don't know if that actually did very much damage. Let's do a uh, gore. Oh wait, no, never mind. You're too tired to use gore. Oh no. We're gonna have to, let's up our condition a little bit. Um, how do we, re oh, we have to do a rest in order to recover our stamina. So now let's try a gore. That didn't really do any any extra damage, so we'll we'll go back to using uh, Yush. No, never mind. We'll, we're gonna need to rest. Critical! Come on. Yep. There we go. Killed it. Solid. 
Yeah, this has got like very much a kind of an earthbound flavor to it that I, I can really appreciate. Oh, all right. We're fighting another Drell. Crit. Hit those bonuses. Perfect. Killed it in one blow. Nice. Slain Drell. Got some more stuff. There's another enemy over here. Oh, oh, we got a new one. I think this is oh, something completely different. We're going to have to scan it. Getting lucky on these scans. Oof. It's going to take a few scans. Scan complete. It is a Sadin. Yes, we got we got we hit it pretty good. We're gonna have to uh, recover. I might do um, a midi to increase uh, assist our, our condition a little bit. Let's do another rest. And actually, I'm just gonna take a little bit of time. This thing doesn't seem to do too much damage. We're gonna um, take a few turns to recover our health a little bit since we can. I'll also increase her, her defense. And then we're going to increase our rest, uh, our, our, our stamina, and we'll do, um, we'll hit it for, we'll hit it with gore. Nice. So we actually recovered quite a bit of our health there. I, uh, I can really get behind this. I'm not a huge fan of, like, standard-ish RPG mechanics, like the JRPG thing, kind of thing. I, I, I'd love to, like, get through or play Earthbound, but I've, I have I never make it very far. That was not great. Um, but I actually really like this. This is really novel. It's not, uh, maybe not as uh, roguelike as I thought it was. Maybe more RPG. It's a, it's a roguelike, like, XCOM on hardcore is a roguelike. Um, complete. All entities destroyed. Pass your airnet to trial. Uh, complete. All items recovered. So I think we've completed this. Still wouldn't mind exploring the whole thing. Seems like we're done. Complete job. All right. Uh, click on affinities tab to displays your research rates and irks affinity. Level. So we've earned a lot of affinity towards fire, obviously, because we've been fighting a lot of fire uh, irks, I guess. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Increase your research rates by scanning or battling entities to unlock new moves. So that uh, that one entity we fought was an air-based one. On the radar, your irks affinities, raising these items will reduce the damage you receive. Ah, so we'll receive less damage from fire units since we fought more fire units. Very good, okay. So we have new uh, items. I'm assuming we're just gonna wanna throw these in. In fact, we can just hold shift. Do you wish to redeem res card C? What does this do? Double click to receive three items. Yes, sure. Bah, bah, bah. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Electric chip, dark ball. This game is really weird <laughs> and I love it. I actually really like this. Um, I thought we could just like, oh, we can sell items as well. Stat increase. Um, let's do a, a two star fire mission. Um, oh, we have four stat bonus. Okay, let's do maybe extra speed, extra stamina, no? Oh, is that? Oh, I see that 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 button I've been pressing is put all of the points into. So let's not do that. Let's put some points into attack as well. Yeah, I, I actually really like this. It's uh, it's a little bit weird. It's surreal. Um, it's it's truly strange in a way. I I can I, I I could really see myself getting into this game and definitely doing a series on it. Um, Garul appeared. So we're just going to be doing our Yush. Um, they are hitting us not very hard because we have a lot of fire affinity. Nice. I don't know if there is, is there any benefit maybe to scanning a uh, monster that we've already fought. 
I wonder. Let's uh, let's try that. We'll try scanning. This is another Garul, right? Can we? We can't even scan it. Okay, so that answered that question. Once you scanned it, you're you're good. So I took too much time there, and uh, we didn't get an extra uh, our turn. There we go. This is supposed to be a level two mission. Um, really not, not like turning up the heat, no pun intended, on this uh, level two fire mission. You know what? Pun intended. Why not? Let me have that. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Killed it in one blow. Nice. Oh, I wonder if it can fight multiple entities at once. Something tells me no, but maybe? One hit kill. Do, 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 do. Level up. Um, let's increase our speed some more. I'm hoping speed kind of gives us more time to think about our moves. But it might also, maybe at some point you get to, maybe it just means who attacks first. I don't know. There's lots of possibilities there. So we have a new thing we're going to have to scan here. I'm guessing this is an earth entity. Oh, it only took one scan. Krugot. It managed to get a, an attack in. Nice. We got a critical, but it didn't really take a lot of damage from that. So we'll try a gore. Oh, we're, we don't have enough um, stamina. So we'll just do a normal attack. Yeah, that was fine. That was good enough. This is like, honestly, this game here is why I love doing Let's Tries. It's why I love this series is because I'm like, you know, I don't know if I'm going to like this game. Really didn't know if I was going to like it. Um... But I was like, you know what? It's you gotta you gotta try it, and and I know that uh, some of you would appreciate me looking at this game, and you know now I appreciate like I appreciate just trying it because it's this is a cool one. I I'm really enjoying this. So we have a another thing that's gonna give us three items, more dark balls. I wonder if we can like combine items. This can be refined. Tell me how, Dark Stranger. Um, we have another of these. Let's go ahead and use that. We have a bunch of, uh, oh, currency. No, is that the time? It seems to be my actual time. Okay. Oh, here we go. Refine. Use, this is the refine machine. You can use it to merge two or based items. Does, do they need to be the same type? Oh, they can be two different affinities, but they must be the same type item. Okay. First item will always dictate the affinity. Make sure to check the outcome before accepting. So let's go ahead and uh, do two dark balls, because that seems like a, just an obvious choice. That'll give us a dark rod. Um, I don't know what this is going to become. Except. Dark rod was added to your Aranet feed. So now we have a dark rod. Dark affinity. Okay, so it just made it better. So we could do the same thing to this dark ore. So that turns it into a dark chip. And now we have two dark chips. And we can do the same thing to that. And that becomes a dark ball. So you can combine two of the same thing. Um, Dinu. Oh, that's water affinity. So let's do these earth chips next. So that's going to give us earth ball, and we have two earth balls, so let's make an earth rod. I don't think there's any downside to doing this. Oh, can we not do this uh, item? Doesn't look like it. I wonder if this costs me money that I have not been paying attention to. Or is it... No, it seems to be materials, and maybe that item was not a material. Cancel. Um, let's see, is there anything else we can do? 
Graphite equipment. Seems like, okay, so you can't refine equipment. You can only refine ores. These are all ores. This is equipment. Gotcha. We have poison rod. Can we combine a dark rod with a dark ball? Yeah, we can, but I doubt it would actually change it. Let's try it anyway. Maybe let me let me see what th this is worth. So this is 50. So if I was to add this, I like to I want to experiment, okay? Um yeah, it's still plus 50. So we just like threw it away. Uh it, 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 y y we didn't get the dark you know, we didn't we didn't get the equivalent of a dark orb and a ball. We have another we have a light rod. So now we can let's have a look at the marketplace. Here you can browse the internet market, you can buy or sell items here. Um, so we have 160 res. To purchase an item, just increase the quantity, then click confirm to sell an item. Also right click items in your inventory to sell them directly. Um, I'm a little bit, uh, I would say not disappointed, but this, this interface here is kind of disappointing a little bit because I, I, I find it difficult to read this. Um, I gotta say, I am tempted to just buy more ores to combine them. I, I kind of really like that. Um, like we have, we could get some dark ore. Confirm. So now we could merge those. We could buy some, I saw a light ore, uh, ice ore. So I was, I thought there, I saw a rod in here somewhere, but I guess it was all ore. So we could buy like two light ore. Advanced tracker, we probably wanna buy like some actual equipment and not just like double down on this mechanic that I really enjoy a lot. <laughs> I don't know if this stuff stacks. I, I have to like assume that it does. We've almost got a full loadout now. All right, let's try a different uh, element. We'll try like electric level two and maybe, you know, maybe that's a bit ambitious, but we'll see. And this may, this may do it for this. And uh, if this is something you'd like to see more of, I, I'd be 100% down to, to do more of this as a series. Scan complete, we scanned an IPAS. It might be good to have a bit more, um, oh, we missed, oops. Uh, more variety in our types of attacks. Oh no, we're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make it, oh, didn't make it, shoot. We got a crit. Nice. That was that was a perfect attack and uh, killed. I'd even be down for maybe trying this game in hardcore mode. Nice. That was good. I didn't mean. I don't, I don't want to abort. Hopefully the game lets you. Uh, gives you an extra chance to say no to that. So I got a scan. Scanning. 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 Oh, I missed. So I'm gonna have to... Absorbed. I absorbed that, apparently. No. No, I missed. Scanning. This guy's taking a lot of time to scan. There we go. This is a Eve. Or Iv. We'll try a Yush. Probably... Yush is not uh, going to be very effective. But anything is effective if you crit hard enough. Oh, it's still alive. Wow, we're going to have to recover. Apparently I'm like completely absorbing their attacks, so I guess I have enough stuff in my inventory to do it. I think it just recovered some health. Yeah, it did. Let's do a normal Yush attack. No! I can't believe I missed like four times. All right, we, we killed the Eve. Level up. It's funny to me how there are like 
there's a lot of like mainstay kind of video gamey um main like just kind of elements in this game and then also you're just like this walking blue entity fighting other entities um let's up our defense because i haven't really been doing that i know there's an enemy over there i was kind of working my way over there oh wait i have to scan scanning Nice. Scan complete. It is an Epug. We're gonna do a gore. Oh, nice. That was a crit. Oh, we don't have enough. We don't have enough uh, stamina. I do like just absorbing all attacks. Nice. Yeah, no, this is uh this is one of my favorite recent discoveries. If I'm being if I'm being real. Uh I, I I love this. It's so delightfully strange. Okay. Scan. Almost feel like if you miss that first scan, like if it's not lined up, you're better off just like missing and then Hopefully you'll line up another on your uh, on the next pass or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's always it does like it's just moving even when you're not touching it Completely absorbed. Okay, we're gonna do a gore I'm gonna Hit that crit hit that crit. Yes. Yes. No, I, I missed the last crit Okay, we're gonna rest Nice That's uh, another level up for the books, and that is this mission done. Shlom, it, hey, do you understand your responsibilities? They were outlined to me in the interview. Right, but there are things we do that are, uh, mm, how do I put this? Too sensitive for the public to be readily aware of. Okay, I mean, we can hardly say we're just damage limitation. Gotta give the people some hope, you know. So, what are these responsibilities, then? Oh, that's me. Well, of course, protect the public and their interests. But we need you to stay quiet about what you do, understand? There are things the public don't want to know. Make them panic. They'd start doing stuff they don't normally do, stuff we can't account for. That'd mean a whole lot of stuff. a lot of people would die, you follow? Make sure you're using the correct moves for the entities you'll be facing. The more you use each move, it'll gain experience and level up. Most moves reach level 3 and grow increasingly more powerful each level. Keep it in mind and get back to me. Get back to it. Um, so we have like really good affinity with fire, but I guess this means it's this is how close it's getting to the next affinity. And I, I assume that our loadout is also affecting this. So, um, it seems like did Gore level up? It's level 5 now. Gore is level 5, uh, Yush is level 5, moving towards the next level maybe. These ones not so much. I don't know, it, is, it doesn't seem to me- oh no, they're level 1, never mind. I guess we are slowly leveling up Gore. Have you checked out the market tab? I have. Oh, we have Poison Ore. So this, uh, this seems to change. Oh my god. 20,000 R. I don't know what this is. In Intermediate Irks Body Mod. I'm glad I can click on it to find out what it is. This is a arm mod, um, hence why it's so expensive. So mods are like cybernetics, they're very valuable. So what I wouldn't mind trying at this point is, uh, well, I'm gonna combine these dark or uh, ores. Item merge complete. Um, we're gonna combine these dark chips. And what is this? Uh, water affinity, so this is gonna give us something. Is this a, that's a unique item. I don't know if we can refine these, no. I guess it, uh, it tells you if it can be refined or not. So we're getting, we're now at the limits of our inventory. We can combine these earth chips. 
Um, okay. So what we could do is buy certain things that we need. I guess that's why they did it in this way. Um, to, to like, you know, advance some stuff like, you know, air ore. We could just buy one of those. Um, and that, that way we can combine them and increase our old business. But if I had a dark ore, if there was a dark ore in here, then that would mean I could advance our whole dark thing. Cause we're, we're we kind of have this whole cascading thing going on right now. That's not so good, but, um, let's go to refine. We can also sell stuff, right? Forgot about that. Something I wanted to kind of try was I want to see what it's, what does it mean to combine two different things? So we have like this air chip. What if I combine an electric chip? We get an air ball. So I guess if you have the same type, the first one dictates what kind of it's going to be, but you can combine the same stuff. So like, um, for instance, I have this dark ore. If I wanted to, you know, advance this to our dark ball, or I guess chip in this instance, I could sacrifice our fire ore. Um, but knowing it's gonna turn into a chip, I would more likely wanna do dark fire ore into fire chip, and that way we can combine this chip with this chip into a fire ball. So that's an interesting way of doing things. It's also a very intuitive way of doing things. Like, I really don't feel overwhelmed by this at all, um, which is really nice. Like, it's nice to see a, a system with some depth that isn't overwhelming. Um, and uh, and yeah, like there, it looks like there's a lot of room for depth here, and there's a lot of stuff you can do. I I do like the combat system. I think it's pretty fun, um, and I you know I like this whole like taking missions and getting more loot and getting some better equipment. And you know it, this is a this is kind of my favorite, our ideal sandbox ish kind of RPG is is just like give me give me some missions. Let me give me agency over what kind of. Uh, stuff I'm going to be doing and make the interface pretty intuitive and I think that this succeeds in doing all of that so um, this one's a real winner for me and I would love to do more of it if it is something that you uh, the, the viewers would enjoy watching I suppose um, definitely let me know if that's something you would enjoy uh, in the meantime if you enjoyed this video definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this and I'll see you guys next time take it easy